and welcome back to the channel. As you'll see here, I have a huge range of aquarium products that I recently picked up from Nautilus Aquarium and Pet Supplies. So as you know, about a week or two ago, I actually went to Nautilus Aquarium and Pet Supplies and, and, and did a store tour. And if you're unaware, Scott Haynes, the owner of the aquarium store, also owns a really, really amazing company which is called Aqua Picks. And they create some really amazing aquarium conditioners and products like that. And um, they're all made in Australia. And today I picked up some of them. And I kind of wanted to go through all of these products and see and kind of explain to you some of the amazing stuff that I picked up. This video though is going to be pretty short, pretty brief on terms of all the products. Just to kind of give you a basic run through. And then we're going to make some really, really detailed reviews about each and every single one of these items. So I'm really excited. Um, we're going to get right into it and just talk about all of these different products, how important they are, what's the significance about Aquapix uh, as a company as a whole, and things like that. Because um, this company, I was extremely, extremely passionate about learning more about it. Um, seeing how they came about and, and things like that. So Scott Haynes, big thank you to you for you know sponsoring me all of these products and also running a, a really amazing company that's just giving back so much to the aquarium hobby. And a uh, big thank you to you guys for watching this video as well. And before we get started, we'll just pay our respects to the traditional custodians of the land that we're gathered on today, the land that I'm filming on and the land that you're watching this video on. Um, it's always good to pay our respects to the elders, past, present or future, and also the people that are currently managing this land, whether it be our councils, park ranges, and really important people like that. But without further ado, let's get into this product unveiling, unboxing. Um, look through, walk through, <laughs> whatever it is, it's going to be a good video, so let's get into it. Okay, well, the costume changes are kind of becoming a regular thing at this point, but now we're going to look at all of these individual products, and I really can't wait to show you all of them. And what we're going to do is just briefly look at them all, because like I said, um, I'm going to be making individual reviews on them. But let's start off with the dry ingredients first, because... We're totally baking cake right now. No, we're not. <laughs> um, so, let's begin off with the first dry product that we have, and that is the African GH Conditioner. Now, if you're unaware about, you know, what the GH means and things like that, there are actually a lot of really informational pages on the Aquapix website, which I highly recommend that you do check out. But we've got the GH Conditioner firstly. We also have the African KH Conditioner. So these products I found kind of work hand in hand and essentially I'm using them at this moment to um, raise the pH and provide as much of a natural condition as possible for my African cichlid and I'm really going to go into detail about that when we uh, do this review. But then we come into foods and Aquapix have a really really amazing range of foods but the two that I specifically have here are best suited for cichlids. Now the first one that we have is going to be our Max Color Prestige. Now this one is a flake food and it's designed for your display African cichlid aquariums where there are some color enhancers in the Max Color Prestige and essentially this is designed for the display African cichlid aquariums because the colors are really going to pop when you feed these food to the fish. And I'm also going to show you like a before and after when I make the video um, reviewing the Max Color Food. But this one is best designed for your um, African cichlid displays where you've got only sort of male peacocks or male haps. The ones that are super big, bright and colorful and you really want them to stand out. Then we also have the generic sort of staple cichlid food. So this is just your, um, your cichlid flake food. And the really good thing about this is that it is enhanced with spirulina and garlic. So spirulina is best for the, the herbivorous diet of African cichlids. And the garlic is really beneficial because it really boosts their immune system and makes sure that you have healthy fish. So really love both of these foods. And at the moment I'm feeding my, my five foot, my four foot, and a lot of the fish on the rack with the um, with your staple cichlid food. And then I'm also hitting the five foot with the Max Color Prestige as well. So um, the fish are really, really enjoying it. 
Now we move into the wet ingredients. <laughs> Okay, so the first liquid item that we're going to have a look at is the Chlorine Eliminator and this is the Concentrate. So this bottle alone, which is, I'll oh, give you a better look there, how rude of me, but um, this bottle here is 500 milliliters and this 500 milliliters will treat 20,000 liters of water, which is absolutely mind-boggling because other branded dechlorinators I use are definitely not as concentrated as this. So if you've got a nano tank that you're doing water changes on, this will last you like a good few years. <laughs> but um, even if you've got a big tank, like this tank behind me is only 560 liters, and this is 20,000. So I'm gonna get like a few hundred water changes from, from this bottle alone. So that's absolutely amazing to know. Um, but the really sort of main and, and, and more interesting thing about this is that it, and I have to read off the bottle because of the, there's just so many awesome things that this dechlorinator does, but it removes chlorine, chloramine, heavy metals, and fluoride, which I've never seen any dechlorinator do before. It also detoxifies ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and adds slime coat and vitamin B1 for stress and health of the fish. So, um, you know, when you're adding in new fish to your aquarium, or, you know, you're doing like an, a, a rescape or something like that, which might stress the fish out a little bit, just adding a little bit of this will really calm them down. And that vitamin B1 is great for the, their cell synthesis and things like that. So, just an amazingly, amazingly potent liquid for your aquariums and just by far one of the most favorite products that I've seen with Aquapix and, and one of my most favorite products that I've used in general. Now we have these two products which I'll talk about which they go hand in hand very much like our, um, our conditioners here. And the first one that we're going to have a look at is going to be our Back to Boost L. And this is essentially a, a bacterial or a beneficial bacteria starter. So, um, this bottle essentially has, is just jam-packed with bacteria and that's seeding all the ceramic media that you have in your aquarium and um, just allowing the bacteria to just start growing instantly with that. But a lot of the times people would want to do a fish-less cycle, meaning that they want to cycle the aquarium prior to putting any fish in there because sometimes when you do a cycle with fish, um, if you're just putting the fish in and you're not doing the cycle properly, it can actually lead to ammonia burn and things like that on the fish and we don't want to be doing that to fish for no reason at all. So to do a fishless cycle, you can also get yourself the cycle right, which is essentially a bacteria food. So I keep giving you like a one second look, but this is essentially bacteria food. And in simple terms, it's just straight up pure ammonium chloride, which is the chemical form that these bacteria are going to be feeding on. The benefit that you have with having the food is that you can essentially grow as much bacteria as you want. And it's always better to overcycle an aquarium than to get it undercycled. But I think that um, both the bacteria booster, the ammonium chloride cycle right, and also the chlorine eliminator are just three things that you should definitely have on hand just for ample success when keeping your aquariums. But that is essentially a very quick run through of all of the different products that I have been sent from Aquapix. Like I said, we're gonna make very detailed reviews and in these reviews, I kind of want to take a new approach and, and really go into the sciences because whilst I was talking with Scott, um, we were just nerding out with the, the amount of science that's involved with aquariums and uh, I only know all of this sort of cell biology and things like that because I actually did biology in year 12 so um, uh, yeah I'm like fresh off the boat and I kind of know my thing with the, the whole science aspect but um, it's going to be really cool to just really explain what the benefits are, why it's needed, and, and things like that. So if you want to see those detailed reviews, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, then also give it out. Also give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We are very close to the end of year. We've got a new year coming up and we're just going to be coming out with some amazing videos. So 
If you want to see them, then definitely the subscribe button is a really good option. But other than that, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video so much and uh, Aquapix for sponsoring all of these products. But as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay as Australian, Bodgy out. Oh, 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 oh,